Hello, my name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, thank you. It's funny what a young man recollects. You're the same as everybody else. You are no different. Your boy's different. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. She was my most special friend. My only friend. We was together all the time. We was like peas and carrots, Jenny and I. Run, Forrest! Hey, stupid! Run! Now, you wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I can run like the wind blows. Who in the hell is that? That there is Forrest Gump, coach. Just a local idiot. I never thought it would take me anywhere. David put me on a thing called the All-America Team. <laughs> Well, you get to meet the President of the United States. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? I got to pay. <laughs> I believe he said he had to go pee. Now, maybe it's just me, but college was very confusing times. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? I sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. Have you given any thought to your future? Go! What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant? You're a damn genius. You are going to be a general someday, Gump. Yes, drill sergeant! They sent me to Vietnam. Listen, you promised me something, OK? If you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, OK? OK. Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. Huh? You twins? No, we are not relations, sir. For some reason, what I was doing seemed to make sense to people. Forget about me and get yourself out! I've been awarded the Medal of Honor. How come? Now, my mama's always telling me how miracles happen every day. <laughs> some people don't think so. Jenny! But they do. <laughs> you can come home with me at my house in Greenbow. I'll take care of you. Why are you so good to me? You're my girl. Paramount Pictures presents Tom Hanks. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Robin Wright. Will you marry me? I'd make a good husband, Jenny. You would, Forrest. But you won't marry me. Gary Sinise. I never thanked you for saving my life. And Sally Field. My boy, Forrest, is going to get the same opportunities as everyone else. A film by Robert Zemeckis. What's my destiny, Mom? You're going to have to figure that out for yourself. seem the same once you've seen it through the eyes of Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Benjamin Button. What in God's name? And I was born under unusual circumstances. <gasps> Infirmity's not of a newborn, but of a man well in his 80s on his way to the grave. He's dying? Of old age. Oh, God in heaven. He looks just like my ex-husband. I didn't know I was a child. I thought I was an old man in the twilight of his life. How old are you? Seven, but I look a lot older. He's seven. <laughs> you are a different child. People aren't gonna understand just how different you are. Benjamin, you are looking strikingly youthful. And one afternoon, I met the person who changed my life forever. Are you sick? They said I was gonna die soon, but maybe not. You're odd. What if I told you that I wasn't getting older, but I was getting younger than everybody else? Daisy? It's me, Benjamin. Oh, my God. We always said you were different. 
I think you really are. Everybody feels different about themselves, one way or another. We all going the same way. Just taking different roads to get there, that's all. I want to remember us just as we are now. You're on your own road, Benjamin. What's it like growing younger? I can't really say. I'm always looking out my own eyes. Our lives are defined by opportunities. We are not little children anymore, Benjamin. Even the ones we miss. I was thinking how nothing lasts. What a shame that is. Some things last. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard all the evidence. I submit that this was not a hot-blooded crime of passion. Consider this, a revolver holds six bullets, not eight. That means that he fired the gun empty and then stopped to reload. By the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back, one for each of your victims. So be it. They send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. I believe in two things. Discipline. Help me down! In the Bible. Here you'll receive both. Andy came to Shawshank Prison in 1947. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. <laughs> You're gonna fit right in. I must admit, I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. He had a quiet way about him. A walk and a talk that just wasn't normal around here. There are places in the world that aren't made out of stone. There's something inside that they can't touch. What are you talking about? Hope. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Damn it, friend, you're putting me behind! Hope can drive a man insane. You better be sick or dead in there, I kid you not! You better get used to that idea. Oh, my holy God. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Too busy living. Get busy dying. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. That's damn right.
I beg your pardon. Mr. Gatsby would like to speak to you. Alone. I'm certainly glad to see you again. I'm certainly glad to see you as well. When I made the pleasure of Mr. Gatsby's acquaintance, I discovered a man of fine breeding. Very interesting. Everything all right? Oh, yes. Love is blindness. I don't want to see. Won't you wrap the night? You always look so cool. The man in the cool, beautiful shirts. She has to tell him she never loved him. Love is clock. I've just heard the most shocking thing. It all makes sense. Will you come on, sport? We need you. I wish we could just run away. Mr. Gatsby, sir. Not now. Love is blindness. I don't want to see what you have. Kind of a row. Are you trying to cause in my house? I wish I'd done everything on earth with you. that you have thought me a bigger fool than I am. He knows. I knew when I married you that you were selfish and spoiled. But I loved you. Do you know a place called Maytown Fu? They've had an outbreak. It's the worst epidemic anyone's seen in a long time. I have volunteered to take charge. You can't be serious about taking me into the middle of a cholera epidemic. Do you think that I'm not? We've been traveling for two weeks. What did you do, swim? No, we didn't come up river. Came overland. Whatever for? Take in a bit of the countryside. Get a bit of sun. Is it a long, drawn-out affair? It's very painful, but it is relatively quick. If you're not afraid, why should I be? Perhaps I could help in the hospital. Are you looking to kill yourself? I married you even though I didn't love you. But you knew that. Aren't you as much to blame as I? Place for a woman. If the cholera doesn't get us, the nationalists might. You guys, let's go. Don't just
Oh, I see we get started. So you want me to tell you the story of my life? I'll tell you my story. I'll tell you all of it. I'm flesh and blood, but not human. I haven't been human for 200 years. From the novel by Anne Rice. From Neil Jordan, the director of The Crying Game. I've come to answer your prayers. Life has no meaning anymore, does it? His name is Lestat. What if I could give it back to you? Pluck out the pain and give you another life. One you could never imagine. I can see you lying on a bed of satin. <laughs> he chose one man. He gave him infinite power. Eternal life. And a daughter who would be forever young. This is the only real evil left. And then he took the light of day. You're a vampire who never knew what life was until it ran out in a red gush over your lips. Oh, I can't stand this any longer. You made us what we are, didn't you? God kills indiscriminately, and so shall we. Do you like dying? You condemn me to hell! Brad Pitt, Stephen Ray, Antonio Banderas, Kirsten Dunst, and Christian Slater. Interview with the Vampire.